Hey there, good people. What's going on? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time here in Dhaka right now is 3.30 and it's been a cloudy, rainy, overcast kind of condition since morning. And uh, like right now, it's that season, you know, it, it's going to rain, supposedly rain a lot. So thankfully, weather is a little bit cooler, you know, sun comes out, but you know, there's no that much of dust. So it's easy to breathe fresh air. So I have like 10 fragrances here, again, summer list. And I think this will do great in rainy days. I have done this list before, but I feel like, you know, whenever there's a rain, I go with the theme. So this is the theme of the day, uh, rainy monsoon season fragrances. Okay. Um, I will do like this quite a few in the series. Uh, not, I do not do like ultimate top 10, you know, ultimate top 10 will be like the best of the best of the best. These are some solid fragrances. Okay. You can try <coughs> and you'll enjoy in the rainy season when there's a little bit of a humidity, a little bit of heat again, then the cooling breeze of the rain, you know, or the overcast conditions. Okay. So number 10, I picked up this one. This one, I don't think made that many of my list. This is Dolce & Gabbana K. I picked it up. This is not one of the best fragrances. It gets a lot of hate and bashing. The EDP version is better than this, people say. And I do agree. But when I wear this, the opening is really beautiful. I mean, if you just try it, you know, without uh, trying, you cannot uh, reject a fragrance. The dry down, it's okay, you know, like spicy, kind of masculine. But the opening is really, really beautiful in this. And I really get the citruses. And uh, it's kind of like, the opening is very, very good. This atomizer, you know, the cap, everything looks really, really nice. But this fragrance, I think, smells really nice in kind of almost like the blue genre. Uh, and I think if you're wearing this casually in the rainy days, you'll enjoy it with a cup of tea. Dolce & Gabbana, K okay, with a nice little bottle. Number 10. <clears throat> Number 9, I'll go with this one. Um, this is one of my favorite fragrances from this uh, line uh, from Emir Collection, uh, Paris Corner, I think. This is called Celestial. I have all three in this line. This is my most favorite. This is a clone of Ganymede, okay? Marc Antoine. Baroui, I think, <clears throat> the house. This is a much uh, cheaper alternative to that. Obviously, this is going to uh, not be, is not going to be the exact same quality of Ganymede, but for the price, what you get, amazing longevity, beautiful longevity. Like this one lasts very long time. It will surprise you. And the smell of it is a lot more wearable. It has the same Ganymede sort of DNA, but I think Ganymede is a little bit more intense and very love it or hate it. This one is different yet wearable. And I think there's a lot more um, you know, reachable or versatile, you can say in that way, Celestial by Emir Collection. This is my number nine, very different fragrance and on the budget. <clears throat> number eight, I'm going to go with this fragrance after some time. I haven't shown this in a while. This is called Cartier Declaration. Uh, Cartier Declaration or Declaration, it's a spicy fragrance. Basically, it has cardamom, a lot of spices and pepper and woody. I think there's maybe vetiver or something like that. This day, uh, compared this with uh, Terre d'Hermes a lot and I think this is elder brother or more mature brother of Terre d'Hermes. This is not everybody's cup of tea. I'll just tell you uh, this house Cartier makes some niche level juice. When I say niche level they are unique. I do not smell a Cartier fragrance DNA like and I go like oh it's a clone of Sauvage. It's anything. Cartier makes their own statement. Okay this is one of the uh, like statements and declaration there's a perfume version. I'm really uh, willing to try it. And Declaration Dunsua is my favorite. This one what I get, got some tangerine or orange somewhere, but it's very different. I hated this fragrance when I got it first. I got this by mistake, but I sold it off, but then I got it again. As your nose goes mature, this is one of the best quality fragrances for rainy day. And this is the same quality as Hermes. You know, if you like H24, uh, Teared Hermes, <clears throat> or maybe some of the Unjardin line, this is like a big daddy of those, okay? Definitely check it out. It's a very mature fragrance, very long lasting. Cartier Declaration. That's number eight. Number seven, I just received the bottle today, but I reviewed this long time back. This is called Armaf Club Dino Intense Man EDP. Okay. So I reviewed the whole line. Why this one? Because I feel like showing it. Um, Club Dino Intense Man, no matter what people say, it has been reformulated. It has been from UAE to France. You cannot find the UAE version no more. It's less potent. Don't listen to all that. You know, you give it a try. <clears throat> Always the best test is not me telling you or anybody else telling you. Best test is uh, you go and try. You see it somewhere, you give it a try. And if you like it, you use it, okay? Sidinim, it's a solid perfume. Even the EDT, EDP, perfume, oil, all of them are great. Just except that uh, non-alcoholic version, which is like, uh, I think it's a little bit less potent, doesn't last, but very smooth. So Sidinim itself is the great, like all round, all year round fragrance. Can be used anywhere, any part of the year and really great performance. And with the years, it became more smooth in the opening. It used to be very, very harsh. 
right? So city name is a great choice for any day, any day. Um, if you put this on, it will definitely cover your work, working day and it's really pleasant. People may ask you if you're wearing Aventus, but people who really know Aventus well and this one well, they will know you're wearing city name. I can distinguish, but this is great fragrance for rainy days. Armaf Club, you know, intense man, EDP. <clears throat> you can go with any other version you like, okay? So number six, then we hit top five. Number six is this one. It's a popular one, Dylan Blue. Dylan Blue, it's something I like to wear in winter mostly because this one gives me the vibes of Aqua Digio Profumo, similar vibes, but this is more blue, fresh, fruity. Aqua Digio Profumo goes a little bit more spicy. They're the difference, but they have the darkness of patchouli or something like that. It gives you a vibe that it's a fresh fragrance you can wear all year round, okay? I got compliments from this from strangers, okay? When I went shopping, uh, people uh, randomly said, what you wearing, sir, can I take the name, you know? So yeah, Dylan Blue definitely is a long lasting fragrance and uh, give it a try. I mean, not everything will work for everybody. It's a great blue fragrance. I like to wear it rainy days. Let me check it out. This is called Versace Dylan Blue. <clears throat> it's one of the best from this house, by the way. So now I have five, top five. I'll speak a little bit more in depth on each, okay? For a reason. These five, I think, are a little bit more special than the last five that I showed you, or first five. So the next five are going to be special. <clears throat> Number five is a fragrance called Eccentric O3 uh, by Eccentric Molecules. This is a niche fragrance. I have uh, no more niche, just this one. Yes, the, just this one. Uh, this fragrance line, it's a magical one. It does not work. Some people find this house gimmicky or funny or stupid because, you know, they don't, like, dig their concept, you know, like, hey, what is the fragrance for layering, you know? What is a fragrance, invisible fragrance? I cannot smell anything. It's true. <clears throat> when you smell, uh, when you spray this fragrance, molecule one, eccentric O1, O3, O4, you know, the whole line, none of them feel like it's a heavy fragrance. You know, they mostly act like a second skin or thin fragrance, and you get like a slight bit of smell. Sometimes you smell nothing, okay? But if you uh, go close, you know, this one has, I think, some green notes, some iris, something, you know, like it's a very, beautiful creation and you can layer this with any fragrance let's say Dior Homme Cologne, Versace Menu Fresh that is going to make those fragrances even longer lasting that's the magical part so I like to layer any fragrance with this one Molecule One Eccentric O1 they really perform well and I don't know how okay that's simple as that but I love this house they are really expensive uh, for the price it's, it's for me I feel it's a little bit more expensive than what you should pay but then again you know the uh, fragrances are very very nice and I really like the simple bottles, so this definitely you want to try in the cooler setup when it's raining and you're having like a cup of tea with lemon or something. Yeah, very, very fresh and very uplifting, zingy kind of citrus and then green and that iris. Beautiful fragrance, give it a try. Molecule, uh, eccentric molecules, eccentric O3, that's the name, okay? So number four is a fragrance. I bought it for the bottle for the first time. My first bottle, it's nearing to finish because of the page that I do, uh, the decanting page. People are buying this like crazy and I just got a backup bottle. So I'll show you my new bottle. Of course, that's more fuller, looks nicer. I got this bottle for this bottle color. You can see how it changes, okay? It's one of the most stunning looking bottles CD name ever made. Usually, Club Dune Intense Man bottles are not very inspiring. They look like ah, a bit ugly, uh, <laughs> boxy, and uh, kind of like not most premium. But this one, even with that shape, they made it very, very beautiful. So that's not the main reason why this is here. This is, uh, in a way, Baccarat Rouge and more wearable version. You know, Baccarat Rouge sometimes can be right on your face, you know, in your face. Uh, what do I mean by that? It's too sweet, too unisex or too, let's say, Mansoura Instant Crush, too uh, much saffron. People don't like that. But those fragrances, another big problem is in the warmer setup, you can wear them. People mostly wear those fragrances in winter months. This one, I would say, can be worn in summer all year round because it's lot, much lighter. But when I say lighter, lighter doesn't mean that it's not going to last. This one, you get nose fatigue sometimes. You may not smell it after one to two hours, but it's there. Trust me, I got compliments. I definitely overspray, but this fragrance has good longevity, okay? They put quality in there. So if you like Baccarat Rouge, even if you do not like Baccarat Rouge, you can give it a try. This is on the sweeter side uh, in general, and it's a little bit on the citrusy side of Baccarat Rouge. And it's not as saffron or as spicy so definitely nicely balanced polished and you can wear this in uh, rainy time definitely beautiful sweetness during the rain okay arm of club dinui and this is called untold beautiful bottle this is a must-have for the bottle itself number three number two number one all freshies number three is prada lom 
product long <clears throat> someone's telling us in the group like some people telling and posting that this fragrance has been discontinued so a few days back i knew that there was prada loam intense i got sad about that i got a backup and then prada loam my bottle was running low so i got a backup from one of my brothers and this is such a fragrance you know at first you don't think of it much you know like when it's sprayed yeah hey, okay it's it's okay it's nice but not special but once things start getting like they're disappearing from market and discontinue then you look back like, oh you're panicking like hey what if this goes super high in price and what are the fragrance i uh, i like but i don't reach for every day but i would like to have it always in my collection this is one of those fragrances fresh clean soft very beautiful the best attribute is clean women love this kind of fragrances for the office if you're sitting in the office you have a nice window staring outside nice storm going on but you also want to maintain your office you know formality and all that this is the fragrance in the gym it's so soothing it just stays with you like a second skin uh, good longevity projection is kind of on the milder side but prada loam definitely is a high class fragrance and high time to get a backup bottle if the rumors are true and this is discontinued okay prada loam shouldn't be disappearing from market that's for sure okay that's number 3 number 2 <clears throat> bulgari aqua atlantic i showed this in uh, last month on the videos i think and i really like this fragrance okay if you like dylan blue you can try this if you like this you may like dylan blue like that okay so this one people compared with a little bit of like dior savage i can see why because it has this blue clean uh, aquatic vibe but savage is a little bit different and this one lasts longer than modern formulation of savage savage still pretty good but at some point it gets like boring you don't want to wear savage you want to wear something else of similar type okay this is that fragrance it has the aquatic side but if you do not like uh, dylan blue you perhaps do not like it but uh, rainy days it gives you the feel of like you know aquatic ozonic blue very strong performance this is the fragrance okay uh, one of the best bulgari ever made the whole line is a gem bulgari aqua atlantic last but not least i <laughs> I'm going to show you this fragrance it's a very obvious one it's a good fragrance okay YSLY EDP so I plan to buy YSLY Le Parfum I really like that too that's more mature version of this but if you want loudness okay if you like blue fragrances ultimate blue fragrance is this okay YSLY EDP uh, why it's a boring fragrance it doesn't have that much change it has this green apple blue vibes and it's very strong very strong EDP it's like it goes through walls okay people can smell you in other rooms okay Uh, literally no but <laughs> imagine in another room it has great uh, longevity cr and projection people can smell you so what i like about wasl idp it's a fragrance everybody likes i haven't heard anybody giving me a negative uh, comment like what you wearing it stinks or it smells like oh this smells like other no wasl idp it's a fragrance great for all year even in the winter time the blue fragrance works okay so rain time rainy time i don't know how or why i picked these but number one definitely is wasl idp on the fresher side Uh, because when the humid condition hits this one still performs okay why so ydp that's number 1 for today so do let me know which ones are your favorite and which ones are you wearing in rainy days have a nice day thanks for watching i'll uh, go upload this video after a while bye bye